Hi, I'm teacher Phoebe and today I'll be going over the intentional teaching card M30 Buried Shapes. The objective is to explore and describe spatial relationships and shapes. The materials we'll be using for this activity is a plastic container, some macaroni, a paintbrush, four shape cutouts, which is a circle, a triangle, a square, and a rectangle. And I'll be using four cups with a picture of each shape so we can put the shape in after we find it. I also wanted to mention is that if you don't have macaroni, other items that you can use are sand, water, cotton balls, puff balls, rice, or beans. Those will also, any of those items will be good. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going on a treasure hunt for shapes. And the first thing we need to do is introduce the shapes we're gonna be using. So let's do that. So we tell the student we're going to be looking for a circle, a triangle, a square, and a rectangle. So now let's hide them. So now we're ready to go on our treasure hunt and we're going to use our brush to look for our shapes. So first, let's let the student know what we're doing. So we have to let them know that we're going to use our brush to look for shapes. And when we find a shape, we're going to see where the shape goes so we can start. So first we model. So it's my turn. I'm going to go first. I'm going to use my brush to look for a shape. Oh, I see something here. I wonder what shape it is. Oh, and we can pick it up and say, I found a circle, a circle. Now, I wonder where the circle goes. Hmm, let's see, does it go here? No, that's not the same. Oh. Here it goes, here it is. It's a circle. The circle goes in the circle cup. Yay, we did it. And now it's your turn. And we can give the brush to the student and have him or her try to look for a shape. So after the student has a try and they found, for example, a rectangle, we can go ahead and ask them, oh, what shape did you find? What shape is that? And we can ask them and let them answer. And then we can also point, let's see how many sides the rectangle has. And we can count them. Let's count one, two, three, and four. A rectangle has four sides. Now, I wonder where the rectangle is goes. Where are you going to put it? And we can have the student find to see where it's gonna go. If they need help, we can always point and give them like five to seven seconds for them to try. And the rectangle goes in the rectangle. After your student has become familiar with these four shapes, you could always add different shapes so your student can continue to explore shapes. So a few adaptations that I came up with for this activity are, you can use shapes that are thicker so they're easier to grasp. You can also use 3D shapes like these and hide them so these are easier to pick up. You can also use, instead of a thin brush, you can use a thicker 
brush, which is easier to hold because of the handle. And the last adaptation is you can also provide a picture of the shapes. And for example, if you ask your student, so what shape did you find? And let's say they found a triangle. They can go ahead and point to the triangle. By pointing, the student can practice using multimodal communication. This activity covers cognitive development, language development, and also fine motor skills. And that's it for Buried Shapes Intentional Teaching Card M30. Thank you for watching.